My name is Jason Sylvester, uh, co-founder and CEO here at H3X. Uh, we specialize in very power-dense integrated motor drives for electric aircraft, but also marine propulsion solutions. So these are our three products that we have right now. Uh, this is our HPDM250, our flagship product. It's a 200 kilowatt continuous integrated motor drive in a package that weighs about 18 kilograms. This is our HPDM30, uh, 30 kilowatt continuous integrated motor drive. And then this is the HPDM3000, which is our 2.8 megawatt class uh, integrated modular motor drive. Um, so yeah, this is the, the, the flagship product. Um, we developed a lot of the core technology for this platform and it's directly transferable to both the HPDM30 as well as the 3000. So a lot of the uh, inverter and motor design that went into this unit is also directly applicable to this unit and this unit. And these are our three base products. Um, but our technology is very scalable and modular, so we can really do anything in between as well. Um, it really just depends on what the customer needs specifically for their application. Okay, so yeah, this is the most power dense um, electric propulsion system in the world. And there really is no single uh, magic bullet that gets us to those high power density levels. It's really the combination of innovation in several different areas. So one of the biggest things is our high voltage insulation system. We've developed a novel um, high voltage insulation uh, for our motor windings that's about, it's about 10 to 12 watts per meter Kelvin uh, thermal conductivity through the slot. You look at conventional systems, they're right around uh, one to two watts per meter Kelvin. So that high thermal conductivity allows us to extract heat from the windings uh, a lot more efficiently. Um, another big area is the air gap flux density. Um, so the air gap flux density of our machine is about 30% higher than conventional systems. And what goes into that is um, our topology and the electromagnetics design as well as the materials and manufacturing in the stator and rotor stacks themselves. Um, probably the last big thing to mention is the integration between the inverter and the motor. So, you know, typical systems you'll have a separate box for your inverter uh, and then your motor will be in a separate housing and then you connect them together with phase cables. Uh, what we've done is combine the inverter inside the unit and integrate it with the motor. So you eliminate a housing, uh, you eliminate a cold plate for the motor or the inverter and um, you eliminate the cabling and connectors that go between the inverter and motor typically. Um, it also allows for a lot better uh, EMC and electromagnetics design because you can so closely couple the inverter to the motor. Okay, so yeah, one of the big differences between the HPDM250 and the HPDM30 is that instead of radially packaging the power electronics, we um, take them and mount them axially to the machine. So the inverter in the HPDM30 is about a about the size of a hockey puck and it's capable of 120 kilowatts. So if you did want to make a 120 kilowatt machine, you could extend the stack length, use the same inverter module, and you would have a uh, 120 kilowatt machine that's approximately the same diameter but about maybe double the length of this. If you guys want to learn more um, or if you're interested in using the motor in your vehicle, um, you can go to our website h3x.tech um, and uh, there's a contact us form on there and you can reach out to us there.